Hello everyone, welcome back to my Neophys playing Minecraft on Strontkever series. And this is just a short update to show you what has happened at the farm. I have expanded and done lots of planting. You can see here I've got my cocoa beans growing and over here I've got nether wart growing but I'm thinking of moving this I don't really like the spot I've moved all of the chests from the chicken farm and put them all here in the ground they're almost all full of eggs uh, I think I might have overdone it and I have too many eggs but oh well and the chests that were lying over here they're all sitting in the ground along with the furnaces as well and over here you can see we put in a uh, uh, a small cactus farm and this is all carrots here I got five plots of carrots going here and this is something I wanted to show you is my reed farm here now you can see I've got the water blocks placed in this special pattern that I'm using and it's uh, it maximizes the amount of growing space you have while minimizing the number of water blocks you use. So look at that pattern, memorize it, use it, because it's the best way to lay down your water when uh, when it comes to doing something like this. So basically when I go one block to the right I go two forward and if I go one block to the left I go three forward. And uh, yeah, you can see the pattern here. If I go one forward then I go three over to the right or two to the left. Yeah, so when I follow this pattern, you can see it goes off on a sort of odd diagonal going both ways. But uh, this, this makes the maximum use. So I've been actually waiting to harvest this because I wanted to show this to you. Oh, it looks like I got the sound turned down. Hold on. Yeah, I had the sound turned down. So let's turn it back up. That way we can... We can hear the harvesting going on. Yeah, there's lots of... Lots of the uh, sugar cane to harvest here. So I could pick that all up and, and replant it now. I'll just do a couple rows. Uh, instead of wasting a lot of time with it. It's a little tricky. Sometimes you accidentally place one on top of another, but... Uh, it works out. Once I've got them all planted, I never actually harvest the ones down at, at the water level, or down at ground level. I only harvest one above that all the time. So I'll be able to uh, get lots of uh, sugar cane that I need for, for doing uh, everything that, that is required. Uh, I'm doing a lot of book enchanting and I need the sugar cane to make paper. I also use that to, to make sugar for some potion recipes. So you can see here I've got a nice huge pumpkin and melon farm going. Uh, I like to use pumpkins for lighting because they're cheaper than using glowstone and I don't know, I, th I think I like the, uh, the texture better. So you can see we've got uh, the, the weed is all grown, all planted and grown and we've got all the fields covered here now. We still have the mushroom farm here. And down here, this is potatoes growing here. So I have five plots of that as well. And let's go zinging down this way. I've covered up these stairways that go down by putting trap doors in so that I won't fall by accident and nothing can come creeping up on me. I have expanded the wall further, so I've gone another, what, 5, 10, 15, 20 blocks that way. <laughs> I might go even further, but I, I did this so that uh, uh, now the width is 100 blocks wide, so we got 100 by 150 approximately. Over here I dug down even further, and the reason why is because when I go way down to here, this hole leads to a spawner that I have down there. And that's a zombie spawner and I'll eventually harvest that and get it set up so that I can uh, get uh, zombie villagers and cure them into regular villagers. And you can
can see it's quite a ways up to the trap door at the surface there. And here we have our silverfish blocks. I've sort of encased them in glass to keep them safe. Uh, there's five there. I think I have actually five spots around here with silverfish blocks that I decided to keep uh, in case I want to do something with them in the future. But for now, they're just on display. All right, I've got uh, a bunch of spots with them. I think uh, if I go way down to the other end here, I've got two others down there as well. I might show you those later. <clears throat> so over here, yeah, there's uh, another uh, set of stairs going down. And because I sold out of, of uh, pork at my uh, shop, I decided I better get together and get some pork happening here. So I made this little temporary pork farm. Uh, I lured some pork uh, pigs in from the surface and started breeding them. And you can see that we've got uh, two blocks of glass on all sides as well as the floor is two blocks of glass deep. And I put that nice pretty little you know, spot there in the back for them so that uh, they could feel more at home like they're out in the wild. I think I might have overdid it in the decorating, but it looks pretty good. I sort of like it. And uh, I do have stairway over there that comes down to this point so I can view them from the side if I want to. And over here I've got the beginnings of a sheep farm. I sort of outlined this with glass blocks, lured a few sheep down in here, and I've got 10 sheep in an 8x8 space and I think that might be overdoing it. You can see there's only a few grass, grass blocks and they tend to eat it so fast that, that uh, there's hardly ever any grass in here. So I think 10 might be too many for this space. So I got to either cut their numbers down or expand the amount of space that they get. And I still haven't decided which of the two I will do. I'll figure that out at some point in the future and go ahead with that. And I might end up pushing this all the way into the corner here as well to conserve even more space so that I have lots of space over here for doing the pig farming. And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue like this or make use of a pig spawner in order to keep their numbers up. A uh, pig spawner would definitely be a lot easier because I won't have to be feeding them to get them multiplying all the time. But, I don't know, uh, the pig spawner has other uses uh, that I might get into. So if I fly way down this way, you can see all of the nether wart that I had growing there. I played around with these uh, water areas a little bit, but I still need to do something like put some lily pads in or something, you know. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I really like the way this turned out. I went up and I sealed it so that there isn't water dripping from up there and it doesn't actually go to the surface so you can't enter this area through these water water spots. And you can see here the grass is still growing across this area. I have a few more of these silverfish blocks here. Don't they look so cute when they're sleeping like that? Yeah. <laughs> and you'll see here, you might have noticed, I took all of the uh, uh, stone blocks out with a torch on top and I replaced them all with jack-o'-lanterns. That way, uh, it's, I think it looks better that way, you know. I still have to do something with the walls and ceiling, but I have patched the ceiling somewhat so there isn't a lot of holes all around the ceiling anymore. There are a few large holes that I've left mostly because they lead to caves or something like for instance this one here leads to a cave I might turn this into a stairway going up into another area so I thought well I'll just leave this for now and see how it turns out this one over here similar thing this goes up into a cave system that isn't very big but I'll still still decide what I'm going to do with it. I'll either make use of it in some way or I'll seal it up at some point in time. I'm just not sure at the moment. And this also leads into a, a, a more extensive cave system here that I found. So I'll, I'll go digging for resources there. I might expand in that direction. I'm really not sure at the moment. But uh, 
So you can see the, the farm has expanded a lot. It's coming right along. I still have some changes to do, but I think I might I might have overdone this and it's getting a little boring to see it. So <clears throat> I'm I think I'm going to go off and do something else in the next episode. But you can see here that I've got everything centralized on the chicken farm now. I've got the water on off switch right there in the control center. Uh, I have the spawner on off switch here as well as the egg ejector buttons all in this one nice little spot here and if I go up here I can show you that I've altered this slightly I've just changed the block arrangement a little I might change it again I'm not exactly sure at the moment but uh, uh, I might see if I can speed this timer up a bit so that it, it plunks them out faster I put a a light uh, glowstone block uh, up here in the center so that it lights and this is just some extra space I had here from uh, previous developments and down in here you already seen how this has been all tidied up down here yeah I might still do a little more with it but it's good enough for now but there is one thing I wanted to show you, is that when I go here, little lag there, and go down, this was where it would take us down into the ravine. And I'll quickly fly through here to show you. You can see it's all dirt up there because that's the floor. And then eventually down here I get to the spot where you've got the glass viewport down in and we can continue on and this is where I said there was actually two ravines so here is where they crisscross so I'm starting to think uh, you know if I take out this huge chunk of uh, stone here and expand this a little I might be able to make a tree farm down here and it'd be a tall enough space to even do jungle trees so I might be doing that in the future so you can see here this is a pretty expansive ravine and uh, there's some resources to gather here. I'll take care of that at some time in the near future and look at expanding this to make a tree farm down here because you need, you need a lot of extra height to make a tree farm and that's what I'll get here. And there's a few caves going off from here as well. I always have to be careful not to get lost in here. I keep using this glass area as my lookout. And the server restarted once again. I guess I should have been uh, ready for that, but uh, I guess I wasn't. Okay, I'm back. The server restarted on me, so uh, I had to uh, log back in. So yeah, you can see the caves running around here, and I think there was even a spot here someplace where I could see through the glass again. No, that wasn't it. But, uh, yeah, so this is it. The, this is my little ravine opening thing here. And if I go down this way, this is where I get back to the stairs. <clears throat> so I'm going to do some, you know, future development with this. Now, where did those stairs go again? <laughs> uh, no, that's not it. Going to be up along here somewhere. Oh, here we are. Here's the stairs going back up. Okay. So there's a brief look at uh, the farm and how it's developed and you can see that quite a bit of work has gone into it. We got more than enough crops to keep us alive as well as to sell out at the shop and uh, there's going to be a little bit of changes still here. I might do a little more expanding, I'm not sure, 
but generally it's done here. I still have the sheep farm and the and the pig farm to deal with back there, but uh, that can wait. I, I don't have to do a lot of uh, rapid change and expanding. And you'll notice I've got everything set up to be manual plant and harvest. Uh, I could have done automatics with redstone, but on the server you uh, uh, get some some skill points by doing the cultivating yourself and that gives you some bonuses so I'm gonna do manual cultivation all the way with this so that's about it for now I hope you enjoyed watching and thanks for watching and till next time this is Neophys signing out <laughs>